condo, which he rented from the wife of an energy lobbyist and his other spending and ethics violations. Wednesday's hearing came only two days after Politico reported the Environmental Protection Agency and the White House has suppressed publication of a federal health study on a national water contamination crisis. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services study found the chemicals PFOA and PFOS, which are used in Teflon and firefighting foam, are unsafe for human health at levels the EPA had previously called safe. In other words, these chemicals are more dangerous than previously thought. But internal emails released after a Freedom of Information Act request show a Trump administration aide warning the EPA's top financial officer, quote, the public, media, and congressional reaction to these numbers is going to be huge. The impact to EPA and DOD is going to be extremely painful. We, DOD and EPA, cannot seem to get... ATSDR, that's the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, to realize the potential public relations nightmare this is going to be, unquote. The study remains unpublished. The Pentagon's used foams containing these chemicals and exercises at military bases nationwide. In a March report to Congress, the Pentagon listed 126 military installations where the nearby water shows potentially harmful levels of these chemicals, which have been linked to cancers and developmental delays for fetuses and babies. During Wednesday's hearing, Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia asked Pruitt if he ultimately planned to publish the report. I was not aware that, that there had been some holding back of the report. I think it's important to have all information in the marketplace Absolutely. as we evaluate this. Uh, what's most important to me is not just studies. I mean, as you know, it's I think the health advisory is 70 parts per trillion, right? Uh, which is a very strong standard. But we need to make sure that if there's an MCL, maximum containment lim limit, or, or a, a 107 uh, approach, that it's based on a record. Uh, and and that's what we would, would proceed with uh, post the summit next week. So, but, but as far as information, we need more information, not less. The EPA and White House's effort to suppress the study is only the latest twist in a decades-long fight over Teflon's highly toxic chemical PFOA, also known as CA. Ah. For decades, the chemical giant DuPont hid information about the toxicity of this chemical, even as the company discharged it into the waterways around its manufacturing plant in Parkersburg, West Virginia. PFOA, or C8, has now been linked to six diseases, including testicular and kidney cancers. The chemical has been used so widely, it's now in the bloodstream of 90...